All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how to bring in an actual model or an actor that you're going to play and uh, fight against, uh, if you like. Uh, that'll be uh, sort of something to interact with. So what I need you to do is... Uh, so what you should do is use your robot, okay? I ask you to export your FBX file, and I ask you to put like a dancing animation or some kind of animation that would work in the game where the character is standing still, and you know he's doing this animation and then when the he sees you they are going to come after you okay doing that animation so you have to choose sort of an appropriate type of animation that would work for that so now the first step we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a new folder so you go here new folder and I'll call it bear 2 I already did this once so oops I'll just rename this uh, rename so I'll get bear yes um, let's go and fix that here. The folder, really important you create the folder because otherwise you're uh, going to have way too much stuff in there. So we're going to import to game and now like I said, it's I'm using the bear that I attached but if you really don't have your FBX you can use the bear but I really would prefer you to use your robot. It'll be so much more fun for you to have that. Now in here what you need to do is you need to check this import animation and you need to select it's probably on this one exported time you need to select animated time so this is really important because it's importing certain functions that you need for the program for it to work so you're bringing it in it'll take a minute or so this error screen will pop up just to delete it you don't need it and the other thing too it'll probably be compiling the shaders which is fine you don't need that you know that's just the light so I keep it on unlit up here so I just find it works better so now I have all my assets so I'm ready to start uh, creating a blueprint for the bear so the blueprint is basically your programming if you want to call it so tell the bear what to do uh, in the game so we have to right click and go blueprint class so that's the first thing we're gonna do and we're gonna select character so it's a character in a, in a so I'll call this one bear 2 and so you know I have a bear one I could give this one different programming by the way but I'm not just because I'm doing this for a tutorial for you I'm gonna double click it once it opens you're gonna drag it I'm gonna close the other one here uh, I'm gonna drag it here and of course there's nothing in it yet because I haven't done anything so the first thing I'm gonna do here is well in Mixamo it creates a skeletal mesh now you could create that mesh in Maya and it would still be there when you export the FBX, but uh, you also in Maya would have had to animate it, which we kind of skipped that step just because we're going to cover that in the grade 12 class uh, next year. So now you're going to write skeletal mesh. So there it is. I'm going to click on it. So there's the skeletal mesh, which is basically the skeleton of your character. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go and get the dancing bear that I created. So there it is. And uh, you know what? I just realized that I make him larger. Probably not. So I'm going to go 100. No, that's too much. I'm going to go 20. Let's just double check here. By 20. By 20. So this is where you change the size. So that's a pretty good size here. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm also going to click the WER key. So if I. Um, maybe I'll wait a step for that. So, well, there's the E key, and I'm going to move him 45, 90 degrees, okay? So he's facing this way. That's the way he needs to be facing to, uh, now you could also have a little bit of fun here and change some of these materials. Um, you know, I'll let you figure out what works best. There's a lot of materials that you uploaded that are kind of cool. Maybe you want a pale blue bear this time. So I'm going to change the color. It'll take a minute for the uh, shaders to compile, and once it's done, it should be fine. Um, then I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to find animation. So give me a second here. So the animation is actually right here. So I'll click on this, and you want to say use animation asset. So the ad it already comes with an animation, so we don't have to uh, create one. Uh, and it's basically this is the animation sequence. It's the green uh, uh, Color that's brought in. So there's my bear finally dancing. So that's cool 
or in your case, hopefully you brought in your robot. So click the W key here, or if you, W key's not working, you can, and you, you wanna bring him down to the ground basically here, all right? So there he is dancing, having a good time. So that's perfect, that's what we want. Uh, so now we're pretty happy with that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, there you see the new color finally took a while for it. I am going to give this a, uh, what's called pawn sensing. So a pawn is like, uh, it senses another character, another pawn in the game. So uh, this is built into Unreal and it's a good way to uh, interact between characters. So we're gonna click pawn sensing. And before I do that, I need to click save or compile, which basically uh, saves the code. And there I will save it. So there you go, now I have it. So my pawn sensing, when I click on it, it will show up. If I didn't compile and save, it often doesn't show up, all right? So let me explain what this is a little bit. So there's a few settings. So you could go Command minus here or just zoom out with your scroll mouse. I just want to show you a couple things. There's, uh, well, at the top here is the hearing threshold. So you can make it so that if the character hears you, he comes after you. So if you want to reduce this, you can reduce it a lot. You can increase it. He hears you around corners, okay? Uh, this is also another type of sensing that I'm going to make a lot smaller, but it usually doesn't uh, interact unless you program it too. And, well, in the site, the first thing we want to do is the site means it sees everything on this side. So I don't like that. I'm going to go like 45 degrees or even less. So, uh, you know, if I'm standing over here, you won't see me. I have to be standing in this cone. And when he does, he's going to come after me. All right. And the other thing is this is like 5,000. So you could be really, really far in the map and he'll come after you. So we don't want that. We want to reduce that a lot. So let's just go like that. So he kind of sees me now uh, in a more reasonable way. And so here he is dancing away, he's doing great. So we're pretty happy with this pawn sensing. So I'm gonna compile and save. So really important that you do that. Click on pawn sensing again, because after you compile it disappears. And now we're gonna finally create the blueprint. So this is basically the code that you can uh, create. And since we're in this animation, it's gonna create the code for the bear. All right, so I'm gonna go on C pawn. So I click here. 